Today, I'm going to shift to the U.S. Constitution. Really briefly, the founders understood that the power to do good is the power to do evil, and they recognize that people have the capacity for great good and the capacity for great evil, even if those people are government officials. Just because someone is elected to an office does not make that person good, nor does it mean that person will act on behalf of those who elected them, nor does it mean they will refrain from doing evil simply because they were entrusted with doing good. So the founders sought to constrain the power of government as they built the new government structure. The goal of the U.S. Constitution was to limit the power of government, to give government enough power to protect Americans' rights, but not enough power to take them away, just as John Locke argued and just as the Declaration posited the role of government to be. The U.S. Constitution was supposed to protect the American people from the power of government. It was supposed to safeguard the people's rights and clearly outline the responsibilities of government. It also served as an artificial conscience for government officials to encourage their better potentialities by constraining the worst of them. What do you think? Has it worked? How well does the Constitution protect the American people? And what do you think the proper role of government is or should be?